Yes, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm VJ and you're now watching another episode of my reaction for today. For today, guys, I'm going to react on another content from Nuna K. Actually, I was like so surprised when Nuna K actually reached out through a comment in my last episode. You know, I was just so honored to have been watched by the, the owner of the video. Actually, there are a lot of interesting topics on Nuna K channel. If you have time, please do check out Nuna K's channel. There are a lot of K-pop contents in there. Very interesting, deep diving, you know, really good contents. Anyway, thank you so much to Nuna K. Shout out. Today, guys, I'm going to react on another content from Nuna K. And that's going to be biggest K-pop news every year from 2014 to 2024. I'm so excited about it, guys. So let's go. The K-pop industry has undergone a dramatic transformation in the last 10 years. Mm. From BDS and Blackpink's meteoric mm. rise to global fame to the downfall of once reigning boy oh, bands embroiled in national scandals. The K-pop landscape has been anything but predictable. Mm. This decade has also seen its share of heartbreaking disbandments and Ooh. tragic losses. In this video, we will discuss the most surprising and shocking headlines that have rocked the K-pop world over the past decade, like starting with CEO 2014. Of Adore, 2014. Right? A quick internet search revealed that netizens consider oh, 2014 K-pop's worst year for all the right reasons. Mm. EXO was unstoppable Jeez, in 2013, Excel. racking up award after award, album of the year, mm. artist of the year, you name it. However, 2014, mm. things went sideways. Yeah, I also knew that Chris Wu was actually, you know, exited uh, EXO way back in 2014. When ex-EXO member Chris Wu sued SM Entertainment, Claiming his contract was unfair. A few months later, Luhan yes, followed Luhan. suit. And just like that, both Chris and Luhan left EXO to pursue solo careers that's in China. In their peak of Exo the career of EXO. So this news was no less than a major shock for K-pop netizens. In other news, actor Lee Byung-hoon was blackmailed by two glam members oh, of he really? and model Lee Ji-yoon. Byung-hoon was home alone with these two. He's actually quite a renowned actor, right? I mean, he is also into Hollywood, right? He film videos he about their illicit like, activities. Award -winning. This was especially rough considering he had just married and his wife was pregnant. Ooh. Thankfully, the truth came out and the two glam Sentence members ended up prison. in jail. Whoa. Glam became Big Hit's first and last girl group to debut as the company stopped accepting Blam. female trainees until recently. Mm. It was a terrible year for SM. They claimed that Jessica from Girls' Generation had quit mm. to focus on her fashion line, Blank and Eclair. Yes. However, according to Jessica, SM allegedly made her pick between her solo business and the In more tragic news, the ladies' code members were returning from DQ when their oh, driver's reckless them. driving caused your van to Ooh. spin out of control. The driver, who was Whoa. also Ladies Code's What's manager, that? was arrested for causing the accident. Unfortunately, two members, Unbi and Rese, passed away, Whoa. leaving fans heartbroken. I didn't 2015. know that. 2015 wasn't much smoother for SM. First, Sully from FX went on a break in 2014 because of online bullying, and by 2015, mm. she decided to officially leave the group to focus on acting. After oh, really? EXO members Chris and Luhan That's left the group, Tao followed suit, suing mm. SM Entertainment to break his contract. Mm. Tao was reportedly suffering from leg and foot injuries, and he even used the same lawyers as the other two ex-members. Oh, really? 2015 wasn't kind Are to the you? nation's little sister, IU. First, her relationship with singer-songwriter Jan ki Ha was oh, exposed. Really? Then came the whole Chatshire album. Controversy with netizens Chat accusing Chat. IU's album of having pedophilic themes Ooh. because of the song JJ and 23. All this happened just because a reporter misquoted IU in an interview. But luckily for IU, things were cleared up in the end. 2016. Good for her. 2016 was a year for K pop goodbyes. First Ooh. up, 4 Minute, known for their fierce concepts and powerful I only vocals, know here. disbanded. Then, not too long after, Kara and 21 mm. went their separate ways too. Oh, that's in Add 20 to that, members 16? leaving other groups like Day6, Beast, Miss A, and Secret. And it felt like a whole era of K-pop was ending. It wasn't all about goodbyes Twice. though, because along came Produce 101. 
It was like the K-pop Hunger Games. In this show, teenagers from around the country gather in one place with the same dream of becoming a K-pop idol. And the viewers weren't just watching, they were also voting for the final lineup. 2017. K-pop really has great influence. Shiny Jonghyun's passing in December 2017 mm. sent shockwaves through the K-pop industry that was 2017. and beyond. Jonghyun was known for his creativity, artistry, and dedication to his craft. The singer was found unconscious at his residence and later pronounced dead at the hospital. While the official cause of death was determined to be carbon monoxide poisoning, authorities what found a name? note hinting at Jonghyun's struggles with mental health. 2018 2018 was a complete nightmare for Guhara. Her ex-boyfriend Choi Jong-bong and she got into a huge fight and at first he tried to claim Hara was the aggressor. But Hara came forward and told how he barged into her place in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. woke her up with a kick and then thrashed her entire apartment. It wasn't just a physical altercation, she ended up in the hospital with Ooh. bruises and even internal injuries. On top of the physical assault, Choi even threatened to leak an intimate video of Hara. In the end, he was found guilty of most of the charges. In happier news, Hyuna and Don, who got kicked out of Cube Entertainment for dating each other, signed with size agency <laughs> P Nation. Okay. They even released their solo albums on the same day in November 2016. 2019 2019 opened a massive can of worms with the Burning Sun scandal. Who's it this? all centered around a nightclub called Burning Sun, owned by Sangri from Big Bang. Mm. Things went dark real quick when rumors started swirling that some of Korea's biggest K-pop stars were drugging and assaulting women at the club, even filming it all. The Burning Sun case dominated the news with seven K-pop stars getting arrested for drugs, sex crimes and everything in between. Even more heartbreaking news came out in 2019 when Sully, a former member of FX, was found dead in her home. Uh, Sully faced harsh public criticism for her outspoken views on feminism, mental health, she's and body so image, pretty. and had I been mean, battling depression, which eventually led her to take mm, her own life. Just six a weeks lot of later, Gu Hara, a close friend of Sully, also passed away. Ooh. She had been dealing with online abuse and relentless media scrutiny, Ooh. particularly after the whole ordeal this with her ex-boyfriend no? Choi jong Bung the previous year, 2020. 2020, the year dominated by the COVID-19 yes. pandemic and BDS. They dropped Dynamite, their first English song reaching number one on the Billboard Hot 100 mm. chart, which was the first time ever for a South Korean group. They even got nominated for a Grammy for Dynamite in the Best Pop Duo Group Performance category. 2020 took a dark turn when Mina from AOA went on Instagram and accused the group's leader, Jimin, of bullying her for 10 whole years. Ooh. Mina claimed it made her depressed and even suicidal. Jimin, in response, didn't deny it, but she didn't exactly own up to it either. Jimin ended up leaving AOA, quitting the entire entertainment industry and even cutting ties with her agency. Another story that stirred four K-pop fandoms was when Jungkook of BTS, Jaehyun of NCT, Mingyu of Seventeen, and Cha yoon Hoo of Astro got caught in a scandal of breaking COVID-19 SOPs. Mm -hmm. While the country was under lockdown and practicing social distancing, these four reportedly went to a restaurant and two bars in Itaewon. After severe backlash, representatives of these four K-pop stars confirmed the visit and apologized for failing to comply with a social distancing campaign. 2021 Farmer EXO member Chris Wu became a hassle name in 2021 for mm. all the wrong reasons. <laughs> he was accused of sexual assault and rape involving several women, including minors. He was initially detained and later arrested in China. Dispatch also dropped a bomb in 2021, saying that Jenny and G Dragon were dating, but both parties and their agencies never confirmed anything. Mm -hmm. It may have just been a rumor or possibly a way to distract the general public from something even more scandalous. Either way, it's still a mystery. Sangri, the former Big Bang member and owner of the Burning Sun Club, also received a three year jail sentence and a massive fine in 2021. Ooh. 2022, during the 9th Festa okay, dinner we're in 2022, the end. BDS announced that they were temporarily suspending group activities and later revealed that all seven members were enlisting for mandatory military service. Jin started his service in December 2022 and released Ooh, his solo debut. The time is really going fast, right? It was actually in 2022 that Jin of BDS actually had his military enlistment. Just recently, he was discharged. Time is running fast, you know?
enlisting, RM also dropped his hit album Indigo. Mm. 2022 also witnessed the return of K-pop legend Psy with his song That That, mm. featuring Suga of BDS. It wasn't a good year for Omega X, though, as your old agency Spire Entertainment claimed that one of the members, Lee Hui Chen, allegedly sexually harassed their former CEO, Miss Kang. Mm -hmm. Omega X's new agency, IPQ Entertainment, completely denied these allegations and disclosed that Omega X had sued the former CEO for her abusive behavior. The whole situation was a tangled mess of he said, she said accusations. Mm. 2023. Blaming the K pop game. world was shocked again by the tragic mm. news Mon of Astro's members, Moonbeam's passing. Mm. He was only 25 when he was found dead at his home after mm. missing a lot of suicides, you know. And the police concluded that he and committed so suicide. So sad for Moonbeam the K pop. Moonbeam was loved industry. by his fans and fellow idols alike. Rest in peace, Moonbeam. All seven members of BDS officially enlisted in the military, but 2023 became the year of BDS solo releases. Mm. J-Hope released On the Street before he enlisted, Jimin released his album Face, V released his debut album Layover, and Jungkook released his English album Golden. And Suga went on tour in 2023 to promote his album D-Day. 2024 we okay. have reached the middle of 2024 we and now? there is a huge fight going on between Hype and Adore. Hype says Adore CEO Min Hee Jin was trying to steal Adore and also claimed that she was Adore making decisions is, by consulting a shaman. Um, Adore is the agency for new jeans, if I'm not mistaken. And Min Hee Jin admitted to talking to a shaman but claimed if she I'm not was mistaken, just stressed huh? and worried about the company's future, especially after BDS went off to do their military service. Min Hee Jin denied that she ever planned to take over a door and claimed that Hype was trying to sabotage new jeans by introducing their copycat eyelid. The whole debacle is a complete mess. The BBC mm. also released a documentary about the Burning Sun scandal. It features interviews with Korean journalists who risked a lot to expose the terrible things that mm. were happening at Burning didn't Sun, know it. including sexual assault and illegal activities involving famous K-pop idols. Ooh. Reporter Kang Kyung Yoon got access to some incriminating evidence from a singer's phone and found the secret chat room where several K-pop idols, including Ooh. Sing Ri from Big Bang, Ooh. were bragging about drugging, assaulting, and filming women at Burning Sun. And the latest news, BDS members have already started to return to their idol activities after completing their mandatory military service. Mm. Jin became the first member to complete his service and was discharged on June 12. The mm. next day, June 13, he hosted a one-of-a-kind hug event on BDS's 11th anniversary where he hugged 1,000 fans. Ooh. The next member who will follow That's him is Jay Hoop, who will be discharged in October 2024. From mm. BDS's chart-topping success to the devastating losses of Jung Yoon, Sully, Guhara, and Moonbeam, the K-pop industry experienced many highs and lows these past 10 years. Despite the scandals and controversies, K-pop continues evolving and captivating audiences worldwide. Let's see how the industry evolves in the years to come. Maybe there will be another video from Nuna K in 2034? Let us know which news you think was the most shocking in the comments and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Nuna okay, K so for more. What is covered in this video are the most significant ones, the most significant news ever in K-pop. In uh, I think that's comprehensive you know, in just 11 minutes. I myself have learned a lot from every year's scandals and every year's successes and, you know, sadness. Thank you so much for Nona K channel.